Hello everybody, this is John B. of Rain, and I want to take you through the new lemur template. Now this is called the Rain Jammer, and a significant upgrade from the Rain Looper from February. Now this is the redesigned mixer, okay, this is for the audio in section, and basically you have reverb, delay, an XY pad for a low pass filter, and on off switches for those three, okay, as well as volume, looper controls, and mute switches. Now that's duplicated three more times for the in included internal instruments. Drums, monophonic synth, and polyphonic synth. Okay, this is the audio in page, and in the upper left you have a phaser, and the physics of the ball is controlled from these sliders here, so you can create an evolving sort of sound if you like. And over here is an LFO uh, mod section for the phaser. Here's the looper controls, uh, reverb and delay. Reverb and delay. 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 And this is Ableton's uh, sample and hold LFO uh, frequency shifter plugin that I've routed some controls to with an on off switch right here. Let's see how that works. And a main volume. Next page is the drums. And I've actually included some of my own drum sounds in these pads here. There's about three banks worth. The fourth bank is empty. But if you load your own sounds, you got up to 64 pads of triggering. That same sample and hold uh, LFO module uh, plugin from Ableton. The low pass filter, looper controls, main volume, and overdrive. This page is for the monophonic synth, and you have a mod wheel, an XY pad for the low pass filter, volume control, looper controls, and there's two pages to this container. One is for effects, uh, reverb and delay, and this is uh, some synth shaping controls, attack and release envelope, uh, fading in and out oscillator too, things like that. And this page is for the polyphonic synth. So same basic controls as the monophonic synth, same effects. But the synth section has a few more sliders uh, mapped out to that synth, so there's a few more controls on it. Now this page is basically a built-in live jam that's never been on YouTube or SoundCloud before. Okay, there's four scenes, four loops for each instrument. Now the one on the left is audio directly from my Fender Rhodes. This is my custom kit and contact. This instance here is bass from my Moog, and this is from Ani's Massive. Okay, so there's four loops for each instance. I'll trigger the first scene for you now. There's a few scenes in there, and they're all mix and matchable. They'll all work together, but they are naturally meant to go from scene one to four. Now, what I'll show you as a live demo here is how you can loop the internal instruments and then combine just a few loops from the built-in jam and still create some original stuff.